In today's video, we're going to see if it's possible to turn bubble bath into a powder. Nate, something that I've never actually uh, wanted in my life is when I'm putting on sunscreen, I've never been like, you know what, this could be more powdery. I think you're right. I haven't wanted that ever either. But, but we're gonna find out somebody anyway. Somebody did. Somebody did. We've got four substances that you guys have asked to see us freeze dry to see what happens to them. So we're going to, and we're gonna find out what happens. We've got bubble bath. Mm -hmm. you know, throw this into the bathtub and get a lot of foam, or put it in a fountain and ruin someone's day. <laughs> or make their day amazing. This is bubble solution for blowing bubbles, and then we've got sunscreen. And then we also have some mouthwash, and we're gonna try freeze drying all of these. Here's the basic idea. Once again, our video idea comes from our viewers. We've got four different substances we're going to try to throw in our freeze dryer to see if we can turn them into a powder. We've got bubble bath, sunscreen, mouthwash, and bubble soap. If you haven't seen us do this before, freeze drying is a process by which all of the moisture is taken out of a substance. It freezes super cold, like 50 degrees Fahrenheit below zero, pulls a vacuum on it, then heats it up a little bit, and all of the moisture just gets yanked out without ever going through a liquid phase. It goes from the solid ice directly sublimating into a vapor. So it doesn't like get the- It doesn't make anything soggy it's or- It's usually used gross. on food, yes. but we use it on all sorts of stuff. So it's very good at getting all of the water out of stuff. So we're going to try all four of these things in these fun little foil trays. Well done. And we're gonna see what they turn into when you freeze dry them. Now I actually have pretty high hopes for these because it seems like the first ingredient in all of these is water. It should pull both of those out and we're gonna see if we end up with just sort of like a powdered version mm -hmm. of any or all of these things. This one also has multiple types of alcohol in it. Does it have any like glycerin or anything? It does, it's actually the third ingredient is okay. glycerin which probably isn't going to freeze and sublimate, uh, but we will find out. I bet it freezes. It's I gonna just... freeze, yes. Let's go for one eighth to one quarter of an inch on the bottom of each of these. It's gonna be harder with the sunscreen, obviously, because it's not like a liquid, so it might take some spreading. With the bubble soap specifically, I actually wanna know if it's possible to, to dry it out and have it sort of turn into a powder and then Mix reconstitute it. it. Yeah, okay. can you turn it back into a usable bubble soap? So to know how much water gets taken out of it, I want to weigh the amount that we put in okay. so we can weigh it again after and add the appropriate amount of water to see if it does come back. Sure. So I've just got a scale here. Bubble soap. 3.74 ounces. All right, now the other ones I'm not planning to no measuring? With the bubble bath, for instance, I'm not so interested in turning it back into this kind of bubble bath. I'm more interested in if we just add it to a bath as a concentrated syrup okay. or powder or whatever. It turns out, will it still make the bubbles? I like it. So I think we'll just see what happens if we have powdered Listerine. Our freeze dryer is complete. All four of our substances have come through the process and they're looking great. They're looking different, which they is what are we're hoping strange. to see. I'm surprised at the Listerine. That one is the most confusing to me. So yeah, this was Listerine. This one was bubble, oh, okay, I touched it. Uh, this was bubble bath, bubble soap, and sunscreen. Well, quick observation about the bubble bath is that while well. change texture, it's definitely not all the way dry. Uh, this is turned into sort of a paste. So yeah, goopy. Interesting. I'll, I'll be interested to try some of that paste in water and see if it actually foams up like bubble bath. There's like no smell to it at all. Really? I don't think there was much before. Like it had on the bottle, yeah. like no fragrance added or whatever. Um, it sure likes to stick to my fingers quite a bit. I can still smell the sunscreen. Oh, the sunscreen's interesting. That's kind of soft and squishy. Yeah, what's the texture of that? Foamy, almost like a marshmallow consistency. Yeah, that's probably the best example I've got is like a very soft marshmallow. It's still greasy. When I start touching it, it starts leaving an oil or some sort on my fingers. Like it's almost melting on me. That is weird. It's mm -hmm. like gummy almost. Yeah, gummy, marshmallowy, and a very faint smell of sunscreen still. But yeah, this that's, is, that's look much at less. this oil. Normally like, sunscreen has a pretty good scent, but yeah, yeah, it leaves like a definite, a definite film all over everything. Okay. <laughs> Our bubble bath, which has turned into this sort of sheet of it was light, a sheet. spongy foam, yeah. does not stay together well. I am very curious to see if I can get 
actual bubble bath out of this. Can you have just like this little blob that's the same as pouring a whole bunch of bubble bath into a tub? Kind of like a bath bomb, but a bubble bomb. So here we have what used to be bubble solution in this one. And we took a measurement of this at 3.74 ounces. And I'm gonna see how much of it I can remove. It has reduced the most in volume. There's so little left here. So yeah, it does stick a little bit to the foil, but in, it comes off well enough. I think I'll be able to gather it all up. Okay. Zero ounces, see if I can get all of this off into the cup. And we are at 0.11 ounces. <laughs> so let's add water into this up to the 3.74 and see if we can dissolve it in and get bubbles out of it again. 3.74 exactly. Perfect. Now we have to see if this blob of weird waxy goo will dissolve back into here and turn it into proper bubble soap. Are there other ingredients that were removed by the freeze dryer along with the water that we just don't know about? Similar to how the Listerine lost the alcohol. Yeah, product. our Listerine had had 21% alcohol, which is also gone. So this is interesting. This one seems to have become crunchy. So very dehydrated. Yes. De it's in dehydrated, de alcohol Are there other things in it you're not supposed to consume? No idea. It feels a lot like the breast strips. Oh yeah, those mint strips that they have for a while. That same like plasticky dissolving yeah. feel. It's also much sweeter than I was expecting. Normally Listerine will burn your mouth if it has the alcohol in it and this doesn't. So it's just a sort of fake sugar. This is interesting. Like it is breaking down little by little. And now it, it kind of looks like lemonade or something. Yeah, like, like it's got pulp in high it. High pulp level. Well, uh, it's not completely dissolved, but I'm curious if it will already maybe blow bubbles. Yeah! Almost. Maybe try a smaller one. Oh! A bubble. It totally we worked. successfully bubbled. I don't know how long I'd have to keep stirring to get this dissolvent all the way, but. I wonder how much that's left is still glycerin. Bubbles! It kind of worked, and maybe if we just left this overnight or something, it would soak in. Or if we heat it up, it would dissolve better. But it does still work. Like we had the weird waxy paste in it, is we made bubbles out of it. Well, Here's our bubble bath. So yep. I'm just gonna put it in the bath and turn on the water and see if it bubbles a lot. Fun fact about bubble bath, having bubbles at the top of your bath can significantly increase the amount of time you have hot water because it acts as a sort of air cushion at the top of your water so less heat escapes. At this point it just feels like when you have like a bar of soap and then there's just like a little bit of it left at the end and it ends up getting really soft, that's exactly what it feels like at this point. I suspect we have much less bubble foam than if we had just put on in the equivalent amount of bubble so, like a bubble bath has a liquid to begin with, but it is working. It's a lot more portable size. I don't at the moment know why you would need portable a smaller bubble bath. bubble bath. I don't think it worked as well, but it did work. So experiment confirmed. Yes, you can make bubbles in a bath from freeze dried bubble soap for whatever reason. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To see more, click right here to watch our latest video and click down there to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one. Talk to you then.